This is a video describing how to do a temporalis fascial graft. Uh, first, a incision is made just lateral to the superior surface of the sulcus. A flap elevator is then used to elevate the epithelium of the sulcus from the underlying vocal ligament, or possibly off of the muscle if the sulcus has invaded through the vocal ligament into the underlying thyroretinoid muscle. Occasionally, some muscle may also be dissected up with the flap, as occasionally it can be nearly impossible to separate the two, especially in a very scarred vocal fold. As you can see, the flap is very thin. Often, the epithelium runs much deeper than you would expect. Sometimes it can be safe to actually elevate while looking at the flap elevator through the epithelium to ensure the epithelium is not violated. Once the pocket is created to be slightly larger than the sulcus itself, a ruler is used as a template to size the temporalis fascia graft. The temporalis fascia is harvested, dried, and pressed as you would for a tympanoplasty. The fascia needs to be laid flat in the pocket without any areas of extrusion. Often the temporalis fascia will stick to the tissue grasper and a second instrument would be needed to hold the fascia in place as the grasper is removed so as not to unintentionally pull out the fascia. A single suture is placed in the original incision. This is usually a 5-0 vicral suture or 7-0 on a tapered needle. In this video this is a 5-0 chromic you will see here in this bilateral case, the temporalis fascia seen through the epithelium lying flat and covering the area of the entire sulcus without any extrusion. A few drops of fibrin glue or even dermabond can then be placed on the incision to further secure the fascia in its pocket and prevent extrusion, which would result in a granuloma.